Hi gardeners, this is the time of year I start to get those phone calls or text messages with pictures and they say something is eating my plants, what do I do? And there's a little bit of a note of panic to it. But most of the time you don't need to panic. So let me show you an example. This is a zucchini plant in my garden and this clearly has some bug damage on it and some of the leaves. And this is a white oak tree. It's a baby. It's going to be a full grown oak tree in probably many, many years. And you can see it's got some damage on its leaves, but most of the leaves on both of these plants are absolutely fine. So here's what's happening here. It's now late spring. You've planted a lot of things in the garden. The bugs are waking up, hatching from their eggs and coming out and they're checking everything out. Sometimes they are a little indiscriminate and they just take a bite of everything to see if they like it. So you'll see lots of little pinholes on leaves and on trees and that's just an example of those bugs testing things out and they're not going to devour the whole plant. They will realize this is not my food source, this is not what I want and they'll move on. Interestingly, plants and animals, birds and insects have all evolved together and they are used to a certain, certain food source. So another thing that has happened in communities where we've bulldozed lots of uh, forest and meadow land to build housing complexes, we have removed all the natural plants in that area and the bugs have lost their food source and sometimes they're confused and they are seeking a food source and they're trying everything out. It's one of the reasons why you should plant natural plants as much as possible in your yard to keep a healthy population of bugs. Many plants, trees, and bugs live in perfect harmony together, meaning they, they will eat your plants. You will see bites as they're feeding themselves, but they're not going to destroy the plant and they're probably not gonna to touch the produce and it's just fine. So unless you come out and you see a plant being decimated or you see it covered with bugs, that's a warning sign, just step back a little bit for a couple of days and see if it doesn't just continue to go on with no harm at all or with a few little pinprick bites and leaves here and there. So I would, I will post a lot of videos on how to deal with bugs when you do have an infestation because we do have a lot of bugs that will devour your plants potentially um, and I have a lot of organic solutions. But before you even get to that point, don't panic. See if it's just early stages of those bugs figuring out if that's something that they want to eat and leave it alone. So that's really the easiest organic solution to controlling bugs. So I wish you a bug-free garden this summer. Happy gardening.